What's making you more concerned this year, though? I mean, you said, I, yeah, you're I, worried. I'm concerned about what is happening in the black community where uh, Mr. Rod is spending a lot of money uh, actually trying to buy the election. I don't think that anyone should be able to do that. I think it should be based on the merits rather than on money. Your concern, where is the focus of that concern in terms of where I'm, the constituency won't turn out? Primarily, well, I think the constituency, we, constituency will turn out and we'll turn about uh, the effort on Mr. Rana to buy the votes in the black community. Don't you think, I mean, he said that he's, it's not just buying, that he's been out there, he's setting up offices, that he's listening to concerns. I've talked to some African American legislators that say they don't feel like they're being listened to and have been ignored by Pat Quinn. I think you're probably talking about one elected official. Do you think there will be significant African American turnout for Pat Quinn? I think there's going to be a tremendous turnout for Pat Quinn. I have been concerned about the fall off of the individuals who uh, have been given money to vote. And I tell them it's against the law for you to take, a, take money to vote when you went to the polling place. Uh, we want you to vote right. So your concern is for some in your own communities that are taking rounders money? That's exactly right. That's something that uh, I'm concerned about, something that uh, I think the voters should look at and really think about what's going to happen after the election rather than what's happening before the election. Sir, Secretary, not, not false promises. Secretary, why is Glenn better than Rauner in your... No doubt about it. Why no is doubt it? about it. Why? I, I, for a long time, uh, Pat Quinn has served as, as one of the state that I wish we could be proud. And I think that uh, between the two of them, Pat Quinn is a man. Thank you.